Good morning, everybody, and uh, this is your Forex day trade setups for today. So starting with Euro USD as usual, and uh, we're still very much up and down. And I think for the week, if you just draw a line along the tops of uh, the week and along the bottoms, you'll see you have a diamond formation. And uh, that is always a consolidation formation. But if you look to the left, you can see we're definitely stuck in amongst uh, a range. I think one thing we can do is just fine tune that level. That's the top. So 106.028 is our top and our bottom here is 104.871. Drill down to the hour, nothing's changed. We are above and below moving averages at the moment. So um, I would still expect us uh, to break this range sometime or another. And that is the indication of what we, when we want to be trading this thing. So um, uh, yesterday played out pretty well. We had a an opening range here so london breakout strategy first seven bars you see one two three four five six seven uh, that was your range you got the break uh, if i'm correct the break this is got out the five minutes for this one yeah the break was pretty much a gap down and, and run away but there was an entry there a pin bar off uh, the bottom which gave you a bit of an entry there so uh, just looking at the hour Pretty much the same in the rate of today. If we reject this area here, I think there is a fairly strong level here. If you look at all the interaction in this area. So we need to reject this uh, for a move to the downside, but I think you'll be capped by 104.871. So that's kind of the view. Again, probably a 15 minute trade if you've got the time. Uh, but this gap here is worrying, so I would expect that to close. So for me, we pretty much sit on hands uh, until we break through the structures uh, to the upside or to the downside before looking for a trade. Um, at the moment, US dollar, Jap Japanese yen. So uh, big up, big down this week. We've got a massive pin bar forming here. Look at that. We've got a hanging man and a pin bar. So uh, technically, we should be looking for shorts below the hanging man. But uh, at the moment, we need to see what's happening at the top here. So, sorry, we just clicked on the wrong time frame there. So we just need to wait for that to come back to us. Right, so looking at the hour, we have a similar situation here. So we have a level over here, and you can see that was a previous swing low. Look what's happened this morning already. We've come up, we've tested it. That was the break. We've tested the break and we've got an engulfing bar. So uh, I would be of the opinion right now, just gonna move that to there. And as you can see, more than likely a London breakout strategy here as well. But there's the top, there's the bottom. So what we're looking for is for shorts, we're looking for a break below 134.668. For longs, we're looking for a break above 135.259. The break needs to happen with the retest. Uh, I'm favoring the shorts at the moment. We've got a crossover of the moving averages. We're below the 155 moving average. So I'm favoring a break and retest here for a move to the downside. Your target area is going to be, if you look at all the structure here, that's kind of what you're looking for. It's around 133,589. Moving on to British pound, Japanese yen, uh, been a pretty much big up and big down week. We've bounced off a little bit of structure here. I just want to use this level because uh, what I'd be expecting on the hour is a bounce off uh, this area here. So let's just get to the hour. And you can see there is the previous level of support, big break. We did get a retest of it yesterday. So I would expect another retest of sort for a move down. Look at the oscillators, all agreeing with that narrative. Uh, so again, I'm gonna just do this. So current high and low of the day, that is the range. Uh, wait for the first seven one hour bars. If you break to the downside, uh, which is 1650, nine six you're looking for a move down and that is kind of your target area at the moment today one six three eight five three if we do break above this to the upside then obviously you're waiting for a retest of this zone here which is one sixty five seven six four could dip into the range as well and then you're looking for a continuation of the upside is a little bit of a trend line break here as well so that is possible 50-50 uh, call, just wait for the break and the retest. That'll give you the indication of which way we're going. Uh, Euro, British pound. 
So we've had a break above it. We've come back to try and find support, but massive engulfing bar here. Uh, I'm still sit on sit on the sides with this one. Don't really see anything here worth looking for. Uh, if we get to the hour, you can see pretty much sideways above and below the moving averages. We're going to need to break below this area here. And it's a pretty strong area of support right now. So a break below 085727, that's going to um, sort of trigger the shorts. But I'd want to wait for a retest of that and then a bounce to the downside. At the moment, look to the left, there's way too much chaos here. It's just too risky for me. So uh, we'll sit on the sides with this one. Anyway, that's it for me on Forex. Hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you uh, on Monday. Cheers for now.